Here's the thing I should have done a while ago. Yay. Here's a Q&A. Uh, response thing. So a while ago I asked people to ask questions for a Q&A. And a lot of people did that and I was surprised. But I, I didn't get the amount of questions I was expecting. So I've wrote myself some questions that I'm going to read and uh, respond to. And I answer the people to ask me questions. So yay, this has been a long time coming. And I, I haven't done it. So it's going to be done now. Hooray. Bra Brad a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Alotz is a friend from uni. Uh, what's the difference between living and existing? Uh, when you live, you feel, and when you exist, you, you don't feel. I don't know. <laughs> That's a deep question. The very philosophical. I have no idea. Wait, what are you trying to ask? What's the difference between living and existing? I live. Yeah. The Strinch. Uh, I, I met this guy on, um,. The, the Let's Watch Let's Plays video. Yay, I remember that. How many Legos can you fit up your bum? Um, I have a box over there, so I could try if you want me to. That 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 could happen. Yeah. S. Woodhouse, who has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, and I really appreciate that, and he's still been really active, so thanks. Here's a question. I presume it's a he. Anyway, what is your favorite video to make on your channel? It's actually the most serious question I got. Um, My favorite video to make. Um, I don't know, the ones I can fit the most edits into. Like, the ones where the, there's stuff flying all over the screen. I I enjoy making those. Uh, I, I occasionally get a laugh out of re-watching edits like that, so... Usually those are the best ones to edit. When I make reviews and things like that, um... I can't take them as seriously because... I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just editing things that, um... Would benefit from a lot of edits to make people laugh. Uh, th those are the kinds of videos that I like to edit the most. I hope that answered your question. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. Uh, last one, I think. Right you one two three zero zero. I think I know who that is. Anyway, would you consider doing a collab with Andy Tate? I don't know who Andy Tate is. I presume he's a Liverpoolian, a Liverpoolian chap. Yeah, I, I have no idea who he is. Maybe he should approach me. Maybe magic would happen. I, I would be more amazed if Pete Dore approached me to make a video. I would love that to happen actually. Pete. Pete Dorr, make a video with me. I, I want that. But yeah, I've, I don't know who Andy Tate is. From what I've been shown, he seems like a very loud chap. So, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, those are the ones that I were asked, that I was asked. I, I guess I'll go on to questions that I made and frequently asked question questions. That came out weird. Anyway, so, the, uh, this is a question I came up with and things. So, why all the jump cuts recently? Um, jump cuts have happened a lot recently because of two simple words, dead air. Dead air is probably the bane of my videos to edit. Dead air happens a lot. If you don't know what dead air is, it's just uh, moments where nothing happens and I don't say anything. It's really boring to watch. So instead of making you sit through me just staring at a screen not saying anything, I edit it out. So, yay. That's why there's a lot of jump cuts recently. And it's a lot more fun to edit videos as well, so that's a, a good old thing to do. Yay! Are there any videos I regret? Um, yes. <laughs> More specifically, I made a unboxing of the PSP E1000 that I hated. I really didn't like it. I thought it was really stupid. <laughs> I should have done more research before making a video, which is something I never did when I was first starting on YouTube. I never made videos. It's like, this is a gay, stupid thing that I don't like, so I'll review it. I, I didn't re uh, research, I didn't script. Th those things were awful. Uh, unfortunately, I deleted it off my channel a long time ago, so you can't find it anymore. Huzzah! Yay! I am evil! Brrr. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I deleted it a long time ago. That's the one I regret the most. Uh, there's other things like Let's Plays and things of... Some of the, um, Amnesia the Dark Descent videos that I made were really cringeworthy and stupid. I, I didn't like them, and I regret making those. It's not really the case of, do I like them or not? I, re I really regret making those, because they're so stupid. The reason I don't like the Amnesia videos is because I try to be someone that I'm not, so... Yeah, I, I just felt really stupid recording them, I felt really stupid like watching them back, I was like, just shut up, stop talking like that, that's not who you are. Pretty much what you see in the videos now is who I am, so I'd rather be more open and show my true colours than someone that I'm not and trying to impersonate, so yay! And if you go back and watch them, I, I think it's pretty blatant 
who I'm trying to be. Most valuable game slash one I treasure the most. Um, most valuable game or one I treasure the most. I wrote this question and I don't even know what it is. The thing is, there's a lot of games that I say that I really like and I treasure a lot, such as games like, I don't know, Okami, uh, most obviously Kingdom Hearts, the whole franchise of that. Uh, I really like The Legend of K, but one I treasure the most, I, I don't honestly know. Maybe the complete in box version, complete in box version of Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance, because that's becoming really hard to find. But I, I honestly don't know. I don't know where I was going with that question. Every system I own. Sit tight, we're gonna be in for a fun old ride. <laughs> so every system I own, a NES Model 1, SNES Model 1, N64, GameCube with Game Boy Player, Wii, Wii U, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance SP, Game Boy Advance Original, DS Lite, 3DS XL, Xbox 360, PS1, the Slim One, PS2 Slim, PS3 Slim, PS4, PSP 1000, PSP E1000, PS Vita 1st Gen, Sega Master System 2, Sega Mega Drive 1 and 2 with Mega CD, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Game Gear, uh, Atari 2600, and the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And that's every system I own, I think. I, I'm, I swear I've missed like one or two, but I don't think I have. Anyway, all the recording equipment that I use, and I think what I was going with this was uh, recording software, editing software, things. So um, to record, I use Audacity and Fraps. For console-based stuff, I use a SCART to HDMI converter. From there, I have it connected to my Elgato HD60, and I use the Elgato recording software to record gameplay if I want to record the system. So that's interesting. Hooray! As far as editing software goes, again, Audacity and Premiere Pro CS6, which is an incredible editing software. A lot of people are like, oh, I should get Sony Vegas Pro. I'm like, no, I don't want that. It looks silly. And a lot of people say that it's very hard to use and not very really user friendly. But I don't know because I don't use it. So I can't quote for them. But yeah, Premiere Pro is a really good editing software that I really would recommend people to try it is kind of expensive it's like 1760 a month or something so it is kind of expensive yeah that's pretty much all i use oh yeah this this crap in my face i have for vocal recordings hooray here we go we're going into the deep and thoughtful stuff hooray um pop filter might need to change this at some point because of the mesh it's kind of old well now anyway it's like two years old nearly pop filter Samsung PS01 pop filter. It's a really good pop filter. It does what it's supposed to and it does a thing. Mic is a Blue Yeti, just a standard Blue Yeti USB one. I, I don't know if I'm going to change it. Maybe I'll get an XLR version, which would make the audio sound a lot more equal and things. I can't remember. I done music like a year ago. Don't expect me to remember that. Uh, The shock mount is what you'd expect. I just beat the shock mount up, so you probably hear that. The shock mount is the radio shock mount thing so yay that's a thing that kind of works I think I, I think it does it I, I don't know I can't actually remember what my arm is I have I have a scissor arm thing for the mic to be put onto it actually works really well it's really sturdy and doesn't really fall apart that much is there gonna be any more minecraft coming up I I don't know about minecraft i was thinking of doing hex it with multiplayer but i don't know i, I don't know how to set up a, a server like that so i think that's all the questions yeah so thanks to everyone that asked me questions and it would be nice to like meet actual people that subscribe to my channel like on a minecraft server or online in a game or something so that'd be really neat to do to do one day maybe for the four-year anniversary or something. So thanks for listening. Thanks for asking questions. And hopefully I've incited people to my um, channel. I don't know, behind the scenes. Shush. Behind the scenes. <laughs> anyway, I'm... Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and things, questions. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, good day. One more thing, I'm probably going to regret this, but if people would share around the channel and things, that would really help a lot. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Um, I never ask this, but it would be really nice if people did. So that's a, a thing that people, you don't have to do it. I'm not, I'm not holding a gun to your head and be like, do it. But it, it would be nice if people did that. But anyway, I'm going to shut up because I feel like I'm pressuring people to do things I don't want to do. Anyway, bye.